Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the one minus node. I've gone ahead and fired up a quick little example. Let's go ahead and look it over. So we have our one minus node. Now this is another one of those nodes that are not representative of their name when you actually look at the node itself. One minus can be found by just typing in one minus, but we're gonna get back a literal node that says one minus X. So that's something to keep in mind. If you see this node, this is the one minus node. Now the one minus node is pretty simple. Basically it takes the input values and outputs one minus that value. For the most part, you can think of it as a way to invert or flip a value. If your values are between zero and one, maybe they've been normalized, for example, and you use the one minus node, that's gonna end up giving you the opposite. So let's see how this works. Right here, we have a nice simple gradient. It goes from black on the left to white on the right. Now, if we use the one minus node and output, we're gonna see the opposite. We're going to see white on the left and black on the right. That's it. It's that simple. That's all the one minus node does. It will invert our black values into white and our white values into black. Now to actually see this in an example, let's look at right here. Let's go ahead and plug this into our emissive color. And let's go ahead and check out an actual example. So right here I have one for red, zero for green, and one for blue hooked into the one minus, we're actually getting, and you can see it here, the opposite. Zero for red, one for green, and zero for blue. So we're basically flipping one zero one into zero one zero. And to show you that it works, let's go with this. One one zero, we'll go ahead and flip this into here, which is going to be a zero zero one. And you can see, and unfortunately this is a bug, once we refresh the node, it's the same. It's what we expect. Zero, zero, one, flipped, gives us one, one, zero, which you can see in the one nine minus node is correct. And that's it. That's how it works. Values that are going to be above one, or for example, negative, are going to still use the one on the minus. So for example, if we had... Let's go with a negative five here. Whoops, negative five was not what I intended on doing. Negative 0.5 is what I meant to do. What we're gonna end up with is this odd little color here. And how that's going to work is, what's gonna do is it's gonna flip the zero, zero, zero point five into something more along the lines of this. Which of course I can't put in directly because it's not cooperating. But you're basically, your negative 0.5 is going to flip and become a 1.5. It's how it's going to work. And your negative, a 1.6 for example, is gonna subtract into a negative 0.6. So basically it is, like I said, the, the common use for one minus node is for inversion. Most of the time you're gonna to wanna to make sure you normalize your values first to put it in that zero to one range. That way when you do your one minus, it inverts your blacks into whites and your whites into blacks or your, in this case, you know, your reds and greens maybe into yellows. So that's it. That's all the one minus node is. That's all that's it. That is all there is to the one minus node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.